Welcome to the PLA tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss the setup of a database for testing and evaluating PLA. In PLA 3.0, databases are not just used to store data. Each PLA database also defines a work environment. This includes a range of information from documents that hold your data to user accounts and audit trails. We therefore recommend to use separate databases for tasks that require different work environments. For example, use one database to test setups for databases and documents, and a second database for production. PLA supports two database types. These are file-based SQLite databases and Microsoft SQL Server databases. We recommend Microsoft SQL Server databases for production as well as simultaneous use in multi-user environments. In this video, we will create a file-based SQLite database with demo data for testing and evaluation purposes. You can share the database file on a local network and include it in backup strategies. We do not recommend using an SQLite database in a production environment. You create a new or connect to an existing database via the Database Connection Management Wizard. If PLA does not have information about any database yet, the wizard will open during startup. If PLA does already have information about databases, open Database Management from the Tools menu of the Login dialog, and click Add to open the Database Connection Management Wizard. As mentioned, we will create a file-based SQLite database with demo data available to all users on your system. This wizard offers two modes for creating a database. Use Express Mode to create local databases for testing purposes. We use Standard Mode as it provides all options available for creating a database. Besides creating databases, the wizard provides options to connect to an existing database or to copy or import information on database connections. Please consult the help pages on databases for additional information. To create an SQLite database with demo data, select Create New Database. Here you can define the location of the SQLite database file, and enter a name to be used to reference the database in PLA. For the location of the database file, take into consideration whether this database needs to be accessible to other users on your system, or a local network, and whether it needs to be included in a backup strategy. If you are uncertain where to put the database, ask your system administrator. A PLA database is based on a template which you select here. By default, Two templates are available. Both contain predefined user roles. Carefully weigh the advantages of having demo data in your work environment against possible pitfalls, and select the template accordingly. Now, we define new credentials for the initial administrator account for the database. All permissions will be assigned to this account, so choose a strong password and keep the credentials in a safe place. Without them, you may not be able to gain administrative access to the database again. This is the last step of the Database Connection Management Wizard. Here you can review the properties you entered. Click the Back button if you want to make any changes. When you click Finish, the database will be created. Once the database has been created, a confirmation dialog is displayed. The creation of the database may take a few minutes depending on the template and the system you are using. If you create a database at a location available on your local network, you may want to share the information needed to connect to your database. The export feature of this dialog allows you to do this. It creates a file you can import on another system running PLA. There you use the import database connection feature available in the standard mode of the wizard. Please consult the help pages on installation and licensing for additional information. Now you can log in to the new database. If other databases are available on your system you can select them from the drop-down list. 
To select your user account either type in your username or click the ellipsis button. The Select User dialog lists all user accounts. In this case your PLA administrator is already selected. Simply click OK. Now, enter your password and click Login. Select the Save Username checkbox if you want the username to be inserted automatically when you start PLA the next time. PLA is now connected to the newly created database. Actions you perform on entities, such as documents, user accounts, and audit trails, only affect the database you are currently connected with. PLA databases store documents in a folder structure. To browse the demo documents contained in the database you created, use the navigator on the left in PLA. The demo documents include examples from the literature and other sources. Experiment with the configuration and data of these essays, calculate them, and generate reports to get started with PLA. The features you need to perform these tasks are available in the editors, which are displayed in the document pane on the right in PLA. Enjoy your first steps in PLA. If you want to know more about PLA databases, please consult our help pages.